I'm gonna go ahead and recap the eggs that we have opened from Benjamin's Fox story. So the first egg was the donkey. Okay, the donkey is what Jesus was riding into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Then we have the coins that Judas gave Benjamin. And then we have the broken cup or chalice that Benjamin found after serving Jesus at the Last Supper. Then we have the praying hands to represent that Jesus was praying to God with his friends the night that he got arrested. And Benjamin also said a prayer for his friend Jesus. Then we have the whip. This is what hurt Jesus um, from the guards. And then we have the crown of thorns. And then remember the rooster when, when Peter denied Jesus, being Jesus' friend three times, the rooster crowed. And then we have the nails. The it looks like a cross because it represents that Jesus was nailed to the cross. Okay, so now we're going to listen to the story. The next two pages, so then we could go ahead and open the next two eggs. Benjamin watched a soldier's gambled for Jesus' clothes. He tried to shut his ears to their cruel remarks. Finally, he forced himself to look up. Benjamin looked into Jesus' eyes and saw such sorrow and pain that it cut to his heart. But he also saw love. And like before, Jesus looked right at Benjamin. Surely this was his way of saying all would be well. Perhaps he would even do a miracle. But instead, the sky turned dark and Jesus cried out, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. The ground shook and Jesus breathed his last breath. Benjamin was sad. Jesus was dead. As if in a dream, Benjamin heard the people move about. He saw a soldier pierce his friend's side with a spear. People hurried to take down crosses and bodies before the Sabbath began. Soon they were gone and he was alone. He picked up the stone the soldiers had gambled with and looked up at the dark sky. Why had God allowed it? Later that night, he opened his box and placed the nail and the gambling stone inside. He looked at his collection. It had seemed so valuable when he believed Jesus was the king, but now the strange items only filled him with unbearable sadness. Benjamin, called Eli the next morning. Come, hear the news. Benjamin stuck his head out the window and rubbed his sleepy eyes. They posted guards at Jesus' tomb, explained Eli. Some say that Jesus will return to life. Benjamin perked up. My grandfather told me that Jesus brought some people back from the dead. Maybe it will happen again, said Eli. But the soldiers say they're making sure people don't steal the body. Quickly, Benjamin dressed and raced to the tomb. Could it be? Could Jesus have returned to life? How he hoped so. But the, but the huge stone remained in place and the guards blocked the tomb. With dark scowling faces, they told him to leave at once. As Benjamin walked slowly down the hill, he noticed a bit of white cloth hanging from a small branch. He plucked it off and rubbed it between his fingers. His parents wove cloth like this for burials. Jesus is dead, he told himself as he continued towards home. That night, he sadly placed the cloth in his box. This would surely be the last thing to remember his friend by. He tried to pray, but no, friend, no words came. He wondered if God even listened. Okay, so let's open our next two eggs. So here's our purple egg. So the inside represents one of the things that Benjamin saw that happened to Jesus when he was when Jesus was on the cross and he died. One of the guards pierced him with something, pierced the side of Jesus with something. And it is the spear. Okay. And then the next egg, this represents something that Benjamin picked up when he was in front of Jesus' tomb. He found what? What did he find? Yes, he found a piece of cloth. Okay, so there you have it. We have two more eggs that we're going to be reading next. So here's, here are all the eggs so far.
Thank you for your attention today.